this is going to be a life update video. It's been a very hot minute since I've posted a video or talked to you guys. And I just want to explain to you why a lot of things have been happening in my life right in the recent month. One of the first big things that uh, I had happen, whatever, was I got dental implants early in mid early to mid August I got a dental implant in my lower mouth that was painful but it only only it only honestly hurt for like one day and then after that it was basically it's been basically fine ever since which is good um what's the next thing the next thing that happened my brother graduated grad school which was very very um exciting but unfortunately mid-august august 15th my aunt passed away who i was extremely close to and it was really really hard i basically like when i got the news i basically broke down and into tears i don't want to get too much into it because it's obviously not a good subject for me to talk about and it hasn't even been a month since it happened and i really miss her so much and so but yeah and then um my birthday was yesterday and I am still working at the adult daycare center and I'm liking it a lot. Um, I just started an online class for school this week. Um, I feel like there's another thing I'm like forgetting to mention. Um, I'll probably think of it. But yeah, I've basically been dealing with a lot lately. Um, and I've been just trying to get a lot of things going. I went to my first gynecology appointment a few, uh, a, less than a week ago, actually. I think it was less than a week ago. Maybe it was, actually, I think it was a week ago or something like that. Yeah, a week ago. Um, which, yes, you're probably wondering, Sarah, you're 26 years old now. Like, why did you just go to the gynecologist, like, when you're 25, basically? Well, one... My mom died when I was 16, so she obviously wasn't around to take me to the gynecologist, so yeah. Um, and, I mean, yes, of course, my aunt was around and other females were in my life, but nobody really pushed me to go. And also, I had, like, major anxiety about going, so yeah. And also, I'm not sexually active and I never have been. I've never had sex because I've never met... A person that I really want to, you know, be intimate with in that way. Oh, sex should be more about, you know, it should be more important. Formulated my thoughts before making this video. I thought I had, but I kind of didn't. Uh, so yeah, you know, I've been dealing with a lot of stuff, but I've been really, really wanting to make videos. I mean, I have made a few videos within the last few weeks, but I just haven't obviously uploaded them to you guys. Life has been crazy lately and emotional and stressful. And all kinds of different emotions have been going around my my brain lately. So, so that's the main reason. Those are the main reasons why I haven't been filming. Really been inspired, but I think I am more inspired than I was before to make videos now. So hopefully, I'll make more videos that you guys will like. I still want to make videos. I don't. I don't have an amazing camera, but like most people on YouTube say. You don't really necessarily have to have a really nice camera to make nice videos so I mean I think at the end of the day it's all about it's more about quality than you know what you use I mean you can make a decent video with your iPhone which is what I'm doing right now anything else I'm trying to think um but yeah August was definitely a really hard month I def I just like my aunt's my aunt's passing literally hit me so hard. I was really close to her. I always ha I always was, but she had a lot of health issues. And but I'm not afraid to talk about it because I know she would be she would want me to be a happy person like I've always been, and she wouldn't want me to be depressed about it. But I definitely there was the first week after I got the news. I definitely like I was a I was a roller coaster of emotions that week, and I just. I 100% was not in the mindset to make any videos, and, and, um, yeah, so, and what makes everything worse is that my brother's graduation and my aunt's funeral were on, were on the same day, and my brother's graduation was at 9.30 a.m., the funeral was at 11 o'clock, 
So yeah, not a good day. Late, me and my dad woke up late. We were supposed to get there at eight o'clock. We woke up at eight o'clock, so we got there later than we wanted to get there, but we did get decent seats. Of course, they were bleacher seats, so they were the worst seats imaginable, comfortable, you know, wise. Um, and the, like, progression of the students coming into the gymnasium, or, you know, the, the hall or whatever you want to call it, was so long, and then the speakers were so long. Like, literally, my brother didn't walk until 1130. But because I wanted to go to the funeral, of course, um, we left at 11, hoping to get there to the funeral. So I didn't see my brother walk across the the stage, which I still regret, obviously. But there was a video, so I was able to see in those ages, some part of it. Um, also, we went to the cemetery because we thought that the funeral was going to be at the cemetery, but of course we stupidly forgot that, that you know, usually before a, a person is buried, there's a ceremony that happens before the person is actually buried. So we didn't, we didn't think about it. I wasn't thinking he, my dad wasn't thinking. Um, I missed my brother walking and I missed the actual funeral itself because we just we just missed everything and that was that was that was really hard for me that whole that I mean just missing everything and I'm I mean it really sucks basically um so that was my month but at least my birthday is always at the end of the month of course August 31st a pretty good day which was yesterday and it was pretty good but I'm not gonna do, I'm not gonna sit here and act like my month was great though because it wasn't it was filled with disappointments and sorrow and just a lot of crap now that it's September um, I'm excited to have a job of course as I have for over like for actually a month <laughs> um, and I'm kind of excited about the online class even though online is harder than in person of course um but i mean i was a little like antsy about it at first because you know it's like i don't you know i don't want to put myself through this but but you gotta do what you gotta do to be what you want to be which is a preschool teacher which is what i want to be one day so um and i just you know i'm i have some good things coming up in my life I just started talking to this new guy named Ryan which is really cool um so we'll see where that goes to hopefully I'll actually meet him meet him in person and actually start a relationship with him because that would be great I'm I've been single for I think like like at least two years or something like that I mean I've tried to like get out there like I went on I went on a kind of date I think it was in June or something with this one guy and I really had fun but I think he's just way too busy to have a relationship and I just feel like I always end up meeting guys who don't have enough time who are super busy don't have enough time or they're just not interested in a relationship which is like like why like I don't know it's just weird I hope you guys are having a better month had a better month than me um but that's life at the end of the day. Life is a roller coaster ride. That's for sure. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you in my next video. I love you. Bye.